lots of cheering here in the room. Big hugs. Sunny William coming through in her blue flight suit. Oh. And followed shortly behind by Commander of Starliner, Butch. Separation confirmed. Starliner is now backing away from station and starting its return to Earth. Starliner stocks complete and allows Starliner to quickly break out to outside the approach ellipsoid or AE. And about four minutes into the burn sequence, Starliner will exit the keep out sphere. Enabled. Confirmation all 27 jets have fired. Houston copies, ISS thrusters enabled. And you're seeing the light show there on your screen. Uh, the glove theater could be off, and it's not powered here. Yeah, Joe, you can also ask about the cup checklist if he likes the police meeting. Oh, my God. It would already be installed. It would already be installed. It would already be installed. Yep. And so it will have you go and check the locks and the boots because you can go to <laughs> you won't you won't need to crank it and you take it from the back so it's the first load on the back and roll it forward. Watch the ear cups, you need to push the ear cups as well. Yeah, we're going to launch as a two-person crew, and then we're going to land as a four-person crew. And one of the unique challenges of that is how do we integrate the other two crew members into the Dragon operations when they've had very minimal Dragon training before they launched. Um, the teams on the ground have helped not only get us ready, but they've already started helping Butch and Sonny train to understand what they're going to need to do inside of, inside of the Dragon. And this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? We're excited to fly in two different spacecraft. I mean, we're testers. That's what we do. You know, we look at different aircraft, spacecraft, whatever, evaluate it, um, and that's a pretty unique opportunity. 